have to break your route off. And here comes Spoon. Weatherspoon's going to come off the edge, and he's unblocked. And, and I don't know what the offensive tackle was doing. He should have at least jammed Weatherspoon, but, man, he's, uh, he, he didn't block anybody. He, he was looking good out there in space was Lou, but he let Weatherspoon go. And, and boy, I, I, think, I think Josh Freeman had a right to chew him out as well as receiver for not seeing the blitz for sight adjust on the route. Loss of 11. Third down at 17. Freeman looking end zone and hit. Touchdown, Kansas State. Ernie Pierce. 20 yard touchdown reception for the Wildcats. Terrell got his feet locked up and he could not make an adjustment. And as a result, he staggered and stumbled when they locked their feet up and he couldn't get airborne. And Pierce could. Third and 17 turns into a touchdown, much needed for Kansas State. Wildcats, huh? No, not at all. Extra point is good. And the lead is back to 10 for Missouri. When you take a look at this, watch Pierce and, and Terrell, watch them lock feet. If we get, and you'll see it right, right there. See him staggering. He couldn't get airborne. It knocked him backwards. And Pierce, as a result, when they click their heels, and there's no place like home as we're in Kansas, you know, and, and Pierce gets airborne, and, and Terrell can't, and that's the difference in the football, in, in, in the play right there. Instant separation is Ernie Pierce, the junior from California, cuts the lead to 10. All of a sudden, the crowd gets right back in it. You got to give this defense and special team some credit after a rocky start, first five, seven minutes for Kansas State. All of a sudden, now they're back within 10. And, and, and two missed extra points that were blocked. It'd be 35 27, a one score game with two point conversion into effect. Now it's still a two score game. So those extra points.